Welcome back to my channel success engineering official so in the last tutorials I explain you how to read this drawing this uh, ducted uh, split uh, duct design system so in this tutorials I am going to explain you how to design this duct first of all I will show you how to design this main duct so let us start now so before I start this video I would like to request you guys please do subscribing my channel if you are still not subscribed so please do subscribe in, uh, so that whenever I will I will upload the video you will get the notification of that video so let us start now uh, main duct designing so you can see I will design with uh, duct sizer uh, macway duct sizer software you can design with uh, manual also but duct sizer is mostly using for uh, actual practice so you can see this is one of the duct macway duct sizer tools this is looks like a calculator and this is very easy to use so how to use this i will explain you and this software you can found easily in this uh, on the google so you can download it from there so first of all you you can go here you can set the design parameter that is uh, 75 degree Fahrenheit air at 50 degree and 50 percent RH at and one atmosphere so this is your uh, even if you not set this uh, duct sizing will not going to be changed and this is only this parameter is going to be changed okay so first of all what you will do I am going to design with uh, equal friction method so there are so many method equal friction method velocity reduction method and uh, velocity method so I will go to I am going to design the equal friction method so what you will do first of all you have to select these two parameter flow rate and uh, velocity first uh, for the first design then you have to set this uh, friction loss head loss so I'm, uh, this is uh, the total CFM of this machine is 3500 CFM so here you enter 3500 CFM and this uh, velocity you can enter 1500 feet per minute and you can see this is your uh, change the unit Point 0.145 inches of water this is the maximum uh, velocity 1500 feet for uh, residential project okay so the you you can enter here you can change the unit now and just uh, enter the height so this height should be enter as per the space between uh, wall ceiling and the slab so for example my uh, space uh, in my case the height of uh, height between the slab and uh, wall ceiling will be one meter so I'm going to keep my duct size is 450 okay or 500 let me keep 450 so you can see here your uh, width is uh, 525 but uh, you always uh, keep the odd number so just go for the higher value that means 550 okay so here your duct size will be just copy this text from here to here okay double click okay you can write it here like this sad 550 by 450 at 335 uh, 3500 CFM okay you can write like this next what you will do simply change the unit now and now from the next duct from here this duct will be same up to this branch and from the branch the cfm is going to be divided this side uh, 1430 cfm and this side is 2120 cfm so i'm going to design from here so from this one uh, from this duct what you will do you have to fix this uh, friction head loss that means 0.145 inches of water gauge so simply click these two okay 
zero point one four five okay inches of water gauge and the CFM will be two thousand one hundred twenty okay now what you will what you will do simply change the unit and you can change the height that means I'm going to fix the height here 400 so your duct size will be here simply copy this and keep it here double click to edit and write said supply a duct and 400 by 400 okay at uh, 2120 CFM okay so this is your duct and now what will be the duct size here so what you will do simply copy this one this one copy here keep it here okay and take this uh, leader line so type le and you can use like this okay and simply click right click go to property and uh, arrow size you can increase here 10 or 50 so i have increased here okay so what will be the duct size here you can see your total cfm is 2120 but each diffuser cfm is 345 that means uh, you can subtract here 2120 minus 345 345 it will be 1775 and another this for for this branch uh, another 345 so again you have to subtract 345 so it will be 1430 and uh, this uh, diffuser cfm is 50 cfm so you can reduce that also oh, 25 25 okay i will subtract 25 here and 25 this side so let me subtract 25 so it will be 1405 cfm okay so you what you will do simply change here the cfm okay no need to change this fix this head loss uh, so 1405 cfm okay so now we are getting here 400 by 300 so i'm going to change here height i'm going to fix the height uh, 350 so your duct size will be 350 by 350 okay so what you will do simply write it here 350 by 350 at 1405 cfm 1405 cfm okay so next uh, what will be the duct size here so what i am going to do i am going to simply copy this uh, text and put it here so again i am going to subtract uh, from the here from 1405 minus 345 again minus 345 minus 50 for this uh, diffuser so total i am getting 16 uh, 665 cfm so simply change the unit okay and enter here 665 and uh, the duct size i am getting here i'm going to change i'm going to keep here 250 so i am getting here uh, 250 by 300 okay so height will be 250 and width uh, will be 300 okay so 300 by 250 cfm okay so this is how we are uh, designing the main duct similarly we you can design this uh, duct for this branch this side okay and then in the next tutorials i am going to design for the branches so the your duct size will be here up to here uh, it will be 250 by 300 size at uh, 16 uh, 665 cfm okay similarly for this side let me move this or keep it as it is so for this side what you will do 
1430 1430 okay so 1430 cfm is here so simply change the unit and enter 1430 so duck size will be 350 I'm going to keep the height so duck size will be 350 by 350 so simply double click to edit SAD 350 by 350 at 1430 cfm okay at 1430 cfm and simply remove this okay okay so similarly for this duct simply copy this okay and keep it here keep it here okay and then you have to subtract this uh, 1430 minus uh, 1430 minus 345 again minus 345 minus 50 for the corridor duct so I am getting a 690 so change the unit in duct sizer okay and enter the cfm here 690 and then uh, you have to check this uh, change the unit and check the year duct size so duct size will be here 250 by 300 okay so simply change the duct size here 300 by 250 okay at uh, 690 cfm okay 690 cfm so this is how we are uh, how we designing this uh, main duct so i hope you guys learn something from this video and uh, i hope you learn how to design the main duct so in the next videos uh, guys i will show you how to design this branch ducted okay so and uh, where to put the accessories accessories is nothing but the vcds fire dumpers vav etc so don't forget to watch my next videos and please keep watching my full videos uh, videos just to get the clear concept so if you will not watch my full videos so you will not get you will miss the concept so i would like to request you guys once again so please watch my full video and don't forget to watch my next tutorial so so, so thank you for watching my video thank you thank you bye bye